if you find this video. I was not afraid. I did this on my own free will by rock crawling on sea adventures. <laughs> Action! What's up, everybody? So as you can see, we're going to talk about the junkyard build, and let's get to A it. A lot of the technical stuff I don't remember, but I will explain to you guys what I do remember. So I'm going to recklessly try to pronounce this. It's the WOW RC Easy RC 118 scale glacier. This truck is pretty cool, man. I like the way it's looking. I like the way it came out. So just for clarity, this is a TRX4 EB aka high trail conversion after i was able to get the transmission and motor housing to fit into the factory rails of the glacier it gave me a lot of confidence to just keep going and the motor and transmission housing fit completely in place with just a little minor fabrication that was to cut off some of the plastics so if you look real quick through the passenger window you can see my finger back and forth moving back and forth that's the little part that I had to cut from the actual interior. If I had to say the most difficult part of this build was getting the axles to line up with the front wheel wells. It's a little bit difficult trying to keep the four links from the actual TRX-4M and the skid plate um, in place to hold in position to get the axle to line up for the rear was all complicated because the four links that I had to use was the TRX4M high trail. And then this axle that I got was for another build. It was a little bit too big, but I got it to work for this build. I did do some modifications to it. I can't remember exactly what it was and it makes it a little bit wiggly as you can see if I, as I push on it and everything. But other than that, the axles line up pretty well in the rear to allow the rear suspension to articulate properly enough. But like I said, some of the links are high trail and then all the links in the front are the standard TRX4M links. So unfortunately, I did not do my research and write everything down on which links I put where. So that's why I don't have a proper video out for this truck. I'll be 100% honest, as much fun as this truck is, it's not really cost effective to get it going. You have to buy two different trucks, a high trail and then... The glacier which is going to cost you around 200 or 300 dollars depending on where you get it it's 239.99 for the glacier 150 160 for the high trail depending on where you get it from so the build is not really cost effective but a lot of things fell into place that i was able to get this done all right let's take a real quick look under the hood normally that's where all the electronics are so that's where i put the rest of these electronics I'm going to show you real quick on how I connect the battery and basically how I run it so that way the battery can come out real easily. So it just pulls out of the fender like so and then to put it back in it just slides right underneath the fender which the fender actually holds it pretty snug. I face it in this direction so the wires come across and then they're able to plug in right into the ECU, which is held by the passenger side fender, as you can see. So all the damage to the hood and the fender was done intentionally, so that way the hood could close with all the wiring sticking out of the ECU and not giving any trouble. I just like the way it looks. And then I put some damage on the actual fender itself to match with it as well. But as you can see, the hood closes down on the other side completely, leaving the bump up remains for the actual wiring on the other side. So as you can see right here, as I play around with the lighting, it basically makes the wires disappear sometimes, depending on how the wire, the lighting is hitting the hood and everything. So it gets dark, it gets bright, it tucks away, and it just looks like there's damage. Meanwhile, the dents in the hood are actually functional for the operation of the truck all right so that's pretty much the update on the junkyard build i do want to turn this into a tow truck i have two different ideas but i'm still struggling back and forth if i want to keep the bed or just completely do a fabricated um rear and then i don't know if i want to make it a dually or not which i don't think the dually is going to go through because i really like the rims on this truck the way they look so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and then I hope you guys enjoy the little montage at the end. 
and the montages throughout the video. With that being said, my name is Hugo again with Urban Crawlers. Thank you guys for watching. Later. Our mode of transportation. Ha, 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 ha.